The new Illini head coach set to address the media. And Illinois returns 12 starters from last season's team, including seven on offense and four on defense. Coach, go ahead with an opening statement. Thank you very much. First off, it's, a, uh, it's an honor and a privilege to get a chance to, uh, to be the head football coach for the University of Illinois. Um, from my time up north, I had an opportunity to look at our university from afar and just really kind of believe in what it stood for, you know, great academics and a lot of potential uh, with our football team. Uh, in the past six months, I've had an opportunity to, uh, to, of course, to go across and spread our brand. As much as anything, get an opportunity to, uh, to get to know our football players. We have three players representing our university, Dwayne Smoot, Wes Lunt, and Keyshawn Vaughn, that will be leading our team this year. And so we couldn't be more excited to have an opportunity to play in the Big Ten, a conference that, uh, you know, that goes, you know, you think about, you know, some of the top teams competing for championships each year. We're not there yet. But in time, uh, we would like to be a part of that conversation also. I would also like to just, uh, you know, express, you know, and just uh, like to give our prayers to the University of Nebraska and Michigan State on the loss of two of their football players. Uh, just never know each day. have to live life like it's, you know, it's your last day. But when you lose two young men like that, of course, it's tragic. Again, we're excited about starting a football season. Uh, next week, uh, we get a chance to get, you know, we've gone through spring ball, get a chance to uh, get out on the football field. I know our coaching staff is pretty excited. I'm excited about Garrick McGee leading our offense, excited about Hardy Nickerson leading our defense, and Bob Likoshevsky uh, leading our special teams, you know, as our coaches. So, again, a lot of excitement. Uh, we feel like, you know, uh, we're Chicago's team. You know, also, we have a lot of alumni up here, so it's good to get up here. Without that, I'd like to take your questions. Please raise your hand. We'll get a microphone right over to you. Coach, we'll start with Shannon on our left. Shannon Ryan, Chicago Tribune. Um, obviously, the test is going to be winning games, but just how much has your job been about changing perception? Um, how much has it been like that already? And how much of uh, a, a role do you have to kind of take on with that and kind of changing fans' perception of the program right now? It was Shannon, right? Uh, well, it's been a lot of that. I knew coming in, uh, we had to sell our brand. And uh, Josh Whitman, our athletic director, and I have, uh, have covered quite a bit of ground speaking with our fans, uh, our alumni, uh, letting them know about you know, the new day, you know, as we, as there's a rebirth of our program. Uh, so it is a, a lot about that. But eventually, as you also mentioned, it will come down to what we do on the football field. We realize that. Uh, we realize we have to put a better product on the football field. It's as simple as that. That's why, again, I'm excited about the players we have. When you come into a new situation, a new team, and you have a you know, a lot of seniors that have played a lot of football. It gives you hope, and that's what we have. We'll come down here real quick, Coach, on our left, right in the aisle. Yes. Uh, Bill Bender, Sporting News. Coach, you mentioned being Chicago's team, so I know you can't name players' names, but how has the recruiting process in Chicago gone so far? The recruiting process overall has gone well. I mean, we have some areas that we identified, but uh, in order for us to do well, we need to do well in the Chicago area. and. and why wouldn't you want to do it? A lot of great athletes here. And as you say, without mentioning names, I'll just say recruiting has gone well. Uh, they're listening to us. Uh, and that's all we want. Give us a chance. And not just the Chicago area, though, too. I mean, there's a triangle of, you know, the St. Louis area, of course. Uh, in Indianapolis, there's a triangle. I'm from Texas. So we'll, of course, recruit that area. We have a lot of players on our team from, from the Florida area also. So... Recruiting is going well, and uh, from it's been a while since I've been in college ball. That has changed a little bit. It is, you know, a twenty-four-seven job, and uh, and we're embracing that. Coach, we'll come over here directly under the lights on our right. 
Hey, yes. Lovey, yes. Teddy Greenstein, Chicago Tribune. Yes. I've seen where Dwayne Smoot is ranked really high um, among college football players nationally. What's he like as a player and as a guy? Uh, he should be ranked high, Teddy, first. Um, everything you're looking for in a player. Uh, he's very coachable. Uh, first off, he has unbelievable talent. And as a defensive end, you want to know, can they rush the passer? He can rush the passer. No one works harder than him. Uh, good leader. Uh, you know, we haven't voted on captains yet. He, of course, will be one of our captains. And for not, you know, nowadays, too, you don't see a lot of players staying, you know, four years. Uh, he had an opportunity to come out last year. He chose to come back. He loves his university that much. And I personally, we can't wait to coach him this year. Coach, we're going to go over to the far corner of the room. Jason Jorgensen from the Rural Radio Network. Coach, how receptive were the players to your message? Uh, you've got a lot of kids on that roster and squad that have heard a lot of voices and a lot of, a lot of different uh, messages. That they've gone through a lot. How, how did they accept you? Uh, full acceptance. From day one, from my initial meeting, uh, they've embraced everything we've asked them to do. Uh, you know, the message from them has been, Coach, tell us what we need to do. And as a coach, that's all you want. You want guys to buy in right away and give you a chance. We feel like we have a formula. We have a plan for, for winning football. Uh, we all have a history. And our, our players have embraced that on everything we've asked them to do, from spring ball to uh, summer workouts. Uh, but it's about this next step. And we'll really see if they've embraced what we, what we said then. Next question, Coach, is back under the lights on the right. Andy yeah, Seligman, AP. Uh, Lo Lovey, what are the biggest differences you've seen from be between your current job and coming from the NFL? Well, I think it's easy to, to, uh, um, to talk about recruiting. Uh, it's not, not a whole lot. It's a little bit of a small free agency period in NFL. And this is, you know, you're around. Uh, sport in itself in recruiting. That's, that's a, that's been a change, but I knew that coming in. I knew we had a good product, so uh, you know I knew we would be able to sell it. But uh, and not just recruiting per se for the current class, but how soon uh, recruiting starts as far as recruiting an athlete. It's not about him going into his senior year. Of course, it's a lot earlier than that. Uh, but again, we've embraced it. It has been nonstop, but uh, we have a, again, when you have a good product, you like talking about it. And um, again, now it's about developing the, you know, we talk about developing the entire athlete, the man, and uh, people are embracing that a little bit. So uh, I can't say that I haven't enjoyed it. I really have. Coach, I'll we'll come over to the left side of the room on the aisle here. Hi, yes. Dennis Dodd, CBS Sports. Coach, you haven't coached in college in 22 years. In the interview with Josh, did that come up at all, or is that, in your mind, mitigated by, obviously, NFL and Super Bowl and everything else? I, you know, before Josh called, he knew my background. And um, I just think, you know, as you talk about coaching, well, it's the NFL. You know, I'm not the only NFL coach that's coaching in college right now. Well, it's coaching junior high, high school, college, or the NFL. I haven't seen many differences from it. Uh, guys want to be coached. Uh, you have a different degree of athlete at every level. And, uh, and for us, even when I was in the NFL, I considered myself a college coach. And I'm talking about stressing fundamentals, trying to develop, uh, of having a personal relationship with our players in the NFL, just like we will in college. Um, Josh knew that. And, uh, this is the plan and the direction that he wanted to go, and uh, we've enjoyed every moment of it. Coach, on our right here, right in the middle with Herb. Yes. Herb Bull, Chicago Sun-Times. Yes. Lovey, talk a little bit about recruiting and how it's changed since you were doing it last, and do you, do, is it a different style as far as the players that you're, you're talking to? Uh, if it, again, as a new coach, I, I probably can't answer that. I just know how we do it. Uh, I, I, again, at every level. My last time around, I do remember my days back then. And uh, you had 
to sell your program on how you would do things. And it's pretty simple. And that's how we're landing out right now. We're laying it out that way. Nowadays, there's a lot more information you can get, you know. So when you initially start those conversations, they know a lot about you right away. We all have a history that you can really research. But for me, I'm, this is who I am. I'm, I don't feel like I'm a phony. I let people know how we're going to do things. And, again, players can get information from players that we have to get the information that they need. So that's how we're doing it. Uh, we feel like once people really listen to how we're going to do things and see how we coach on a daily basis, that people will want to get on board with that. Right, coach, right down front on our right. right here. Hey, love you. How's it going? Jonathan Jaffe, Orange Blue News. Um, Keyshawn Vaughn is here representing the team as a sophomore. What does that say about your thoughts about him, just the fact that he's here representing this team at such a young age? Well, I, Keyshawn has heard it quite a bit, and uh, whenever I get a chance to talk about our football team, I talk about Keyshawn. You know, now we talk a lot about recruiting, and uh, so I've looked at a lot of different video, a lot of guys coming out. And for Keyshawn Vaughn, I even went back and watched his high school video coming out, and he was a great player then, and I think he's a great player now. I know he's young, but you can tell, you know, really good football players at a young, at a young age. I think he can do it all. I think he can run in between the tackles. He can make you miss in the open field. Uh, he can catch the ball out of the backfield. He has a little bit of size to him. We'll ask him to block from time to time, too. Uh, just excited about Wes Lunt handing him, to ball, handing him the ball. And, it's just, again, it's just not about Keyshawn. As I mentioned, uh, as I look at our program, and we had a senior quarterback who makes great decisions. I'm talking about Wes Lunt. It has you get you excited also. Time for one or two more. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We have one here on the left. Yeah. Hi, Levy. Uh, Tim Smith. Uh, Clem Tim Smith. Tim May, Columbus Dispatch. <laughs> Hello, Tim. Always got us it's mixed up. It's been a while. Always got us mixed up, man. Hey, when you look at your team, where, where are you lacking? Like you talked about, you want to be in the conversation, but where, where definitely are the places you're lacking right now, in your opinion? Well, Tim, uh, instead of the places we're lacking, you know, as I looked at our roster coming in, um, you know, I talked about our senior quarterback. You want to know what, uh, what you have at the quarterback position in order to have success. Uh, we have three senior offensive linemen. That gets you excited. I mentioned Keyshawn Vaughn, our running back. Uh, we'll have a fullback on our roster this year also. But the strength of our football team is our defensive line. And whenever you get an opportunity, you know it starts up front. You know, I've, I'm a head coach because of what, you know, what we've done on the defensive side of the football. I realize that. And also just, you know, talking about the positive and the pluses for our team. Uh, to be able to get a player like Hardy Nickerson, Jr., you know, which is kind of cherry on top a little bit also. Uh, I think Jalen Dunlap as a corner is a, is, a, is a good player. So I'm going to talk more about that. I think we have good marquee players at every position. We don't have as much depth as we will have eventually. And hopefully we'll get lucky on some injuries and we should be okay. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you very much.